One of the victims tells me that they were all hanging out right here, had decided to go inside, were about to order a pizza and watch a movie, when all of a sudden three men wearing masks opened that door, went inside with guns, ordered them all to the ground, and even assaulted a three-year-old. That woman too afraid to talk on camera out of fear for not only her safety, but her son's. She said her son is traumatized and had nightmares after what happened last night inside their home on Egger Street. She said the three armed men threw her son into his toys, then pointed a gun at her when she tried to hold him, ordering her to the ground along with six other people inside. This is a nice place um, and it shouldn't fall to pieces and it's really awful that that happened to them. Suzanne Wiesis lives nearby and said what happened is scary. She said this street is isolated and you don't just come up here for no reason. She said she's even noticed more people roaming around the neighborhood, which she says is uncomfortable. It's really sad when you think that you have to be cautious about where you walk your dog, what time of night you walk, if you're by yourself or you bring a friend or your partner with you. One of the victims told me she believes she was being watched before the crime. She said the men went through the house and got away with about $900 in cash. Police do not have a suspect. Neighbors tell me they're on high alert. Pittsburgh police tell me this investigation is ongoing. If you have any information that can help, you're encouraged to give them a call. Reporting in Troy Hill, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.